this case considered the issue of trading stock and whether or not legal ownership of goods was necessary for the goods to be classified as trading stock. In this case, a company was a wholesaler of cars that entered into an agreement with the manufacturer of these cars to offer them for sale to the public. And when the cars were purchased, the wholesaler would then purchase the car from the manufacturer. The wholesaler reported the value of the cars that it had in its showroom as trading stock, but the commissioner disallowed this and argued that the cars were not trading stock on the basis that the wholesaler had not acquired a title in the cars and were therefore not the legal owner of them. The central issue, therefore, was whether or not the cars amounted to trading stock. The court ultimately